Hi, I'm Lynn Stewart Krieger, Director of Home Modification and Access for the Center for Independent Living of Central Pennsylvania, and I'm here at the Jackson Tower Building with Bob Grasco from the Harrisburg Housing Authority. Bob, tell us a little bit about this building and a little bit of history about the building and how it came to do this great remodel. Sure. Um, well, Jackson Towers originally opened in 1960. It was uh, named for C. Sylvester Jackson, who was one of our founding fathers from the Housing Authority from the original days in uh, 1938. And um, it originally was for, it was a family site. So there was one, two, threes, and fours, and five bedroom units combined in these two buildings here. So in 1973, the family, uh, I guess in the 60s, they determined the families in the sky didn't work too well. And what they did in 1973, they converted it into 240 uh, mostly efficiencies and one bedroom units. That was a high number for you know a density of poverty basically in this little building and it seemed to be problematic and, and eventually the efficiencies were really hard to, to market and rent. So the building closed down um, in 2003 and they originally had planned on, on converting it to an assisted care in a team effort with the leader family. And um, that fell through. And it sat vacant for years um, with no future for the funding. So the courthouse got involved when the, when the federal courthouse was going to move here for a, a short time and they were going to purchase the property. And um, then when they backed out, they wanted both this and the Lick building. And when they backed out of this property and moved to a different property, uh, we just had to start planning the finances again. So actually, by that time, I was in this department, and um, I put together a plan that uh, it, it encompassed a lot of capital fund dollars, mm -hmm. um, a couple of years of CDBG money, um, energy performance contract, and operating fund contract or operating fund finance program through through HUD that mm -hmm. through HUD and um, a federal home loan bank AHP grant right. affordable housing program so there was a lot of different slices of the pie to get to where we are today it's a lot of money and um, the capital fund only provides you know a couple of million a year and something like this would have taken 10 years to do so it took about five years um, start to finish on this, four phases because the money money's funny, mm -hmm. and um, here we are. I mean, we're ready to occupy. We're coming down to the I'm down to the punch list items here and a uh, little tra <coughs> training for our staff, and we're ready to move in. Good. How did you get involved with the Center for Independent Living? Uh, during the development phase, we did we did first a lot of um, charrettes and meetings with the residents took their input because that they're the ones that know what their needs are the most. Mm -hmm. Then going forward, um, the CEO here, uh, Senghor Man, <laughs> I like your ringtone, <laughs> he, he decided to bring in the Center for Independent Living because really our expertise is not in accessible units. So who better to call? And um, when we brought Beth Ellis and yourself in, you kind of guided us through the process, and, and we just loved your suggestions. Thank you. And you can see as a result, we listened to everything that you gave us and, and more. We, I think we really hit it. You did. You really hit it out of the park. And the nice thing about this building is it can be a model for other development uh, in the city, in the county, and anywhere else that you can mix accessibility, you can mix housing for seniors, and you can make it beautiful and livable and something that people will be proud to live in. And I know that the Harrisburg Housing Authority is thrilled and proud of this building because it is just, it, you know, it sets this whole area apart. Um, and uh, so I'm sure that the residents, once they get moved in here, are just going to be thrilled to live here. They will. So thank you, Bob, for all your help and all your good work on this. Well, thank you for your help. Thank you.